metabolic bone disease in turtles. So this is what a normal ornate box turtle should look like. And this is one with metabolic bone disease. Now you can see how just oddly shaped the shell is and how it curls up at the end. Um, the legs are very much exposed in the back compared to this, how the shell is supposed to be. And so this turtle we just got, um, it was rescued by a friend of ours and um, given to us, you could see just how bad her shell looks. And this is from improper care. This turtle being young was kept with very low UBV and as well as probably not the best diet, uh, not enough protein or something like that in the diet. Um, didn't get enough calcium or uh, UBV. So the shell grew kind of odd as you could see. Now, this is um, a very severe case of metabolic bone disease. What you might see is some pyramiding in the shell. Um, and if that keeps going on at a bad rate, it'll turn into something like this. Um, unfortunately for this turtle, uh, its shell will not heal fully. It'll still have a really weird shell. Luckily, it's younger, as you could see uh, size-wise. Um, you could really see in like the head and the legs, how much smaller this one is than that, uh, than this female right here. Um, but uh, her shell should grow out a little bit with just natural healthy shell growth um, and fix itself a little bit, but she won't look um, as smooth and round and uh, well-shaped as this turtle when she is an adult. And the biggest thing with this is just do your research. If you, if you do not have the proper care requirements for these turtles. Do not get um, a box turtle uh, or any type of turtle or tortoise. This isn't just uh, a thing for box turtles. All turtles and tortoises need a source of UVV for healthy, proper shell growth.